It's the Wayne County Football Show with Marshall Wood and head football coach Jack Hankins. Brought to you by Extreme Guns, Alpha Insurance, Boondock Eddies, Circle C Tractor, and First State Bank. All the information you need for Wayne County football. Welcome to our show tonight, everyone. Coach Hank, it's good to see you here in 2022. How's your year uh, been, so, been so far? Ooh, been busy, been good. Yeah. Good, to, good to be back with you again and be back on air. And um, it's been good. It's, it's been, uh, we've had a great start, you know, school, uh, you know, about over a week now with these uh, building some more Eagles. And um, let me tell you, we've got 100 plus now in the weight room. Uh, 100 plus. Yeah, actually, to be honest with you, we've got, as of right now, 107. And then when basketball season ends, we'll pick up a few more. So we'll have 115, 120 probably in, a, in several weeks. But you know as well as I do, I, I hate to say it, you won't keep all that many. But mm -hmm. a lot of kids are wanting to be part of what we're doing. And, and that's a good – that's good. That, that kind of means the program is kind of selling itself in the school and in yeah. the halls. And that's when you can get kids out, when yeah. your program kind of sells itself from the other players and – you know, everybody probably didn't know what was going on last year, so they kind of yes. they've kind of seen and and seen you know the success that we had last year, and and kind of people want to be a part of that. So uh, again, everybody likes the idea of playing football. We'll see how much they like the the <laughs> commitment of playing football. That's that's a big difference. Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> hey, we've been busy. We've been bu hey, busting that literally busting at the seams, and we mm -hmm. we don't have enough lockers. We're sharing lockers right now. But that's a good problem to have and. And again, you know, as time goes on, I'm I'm almost certain that number might coil itself a little bit, but that's that's still a great problem. That that means there's a little bit of buzz about what's going on, even though we're in this cold January. Yeah. How, last year when you showed up, you had what about 60, 61? Yeah. Well, when I showed up, we had in the in the mid to upper 80s, but now we finished the team this year. We had 61 mm -hmm. varsity guys. You know, mm -hmm. we had brought up some freshmen to help us. You know, with some backup duties, but uh. We had about 61, but uh, hey, I'm excited, man. man I'm excited. That's, we, that uh, is exciting. We got a new year. We got a new year to build some more Eagles. And, uh, you know, this, this is when you win football games. We've, we've talked about it. This is where you win football games from right what we do right now until we get into August till we play our first game. This is when we win. When the, when the stadium's empty and the lights are off. This is when you come bigger, smarter, faster, and that's stronger. That's right. When nobody sees what's going on, that's when you – that's when you do the work. There you go. Well, listen, Coach, last week we began our discussion on your coaching staff uh, by position. We addressed your receivers and how much effort was put into teaching them to block and why. We looked at the running backs and how you addressed ball security and coached for it. And then finally the offensive line where you broke down the importance of success up front. You also spoke of some different elements of the teaching learning model, so to say. You know, coaching – when you get right down to it, we talk about coaching, but coaching is just teaching. Absolutely, isn't it not? absolutely, coaching is teaching. And and I dare say the best coaches thereby are probably the best teachers among other things. And we talk about coaches, and we're going to be talking about our defensive coaches in a minute. But as we get there, what what do you look for? What do you what makes a good football coach? Well, let me I, since you asked me now. <laughs> Again, uh, you may ask another person; they may have another answer. You ask me, so I'll tell you what I think. Mm -hmm. um, let me tell you, I think it's a person. One, there's two major concepts of this. You know, you've we've all heard of, of guys running through the wall for a coach or for a certain coach, or, or guys wouldn't play hard for a certain. Coach. So, so the first thing I think I look for, what I look for, is for a coach that can build a relationship with a young man. You got to build a relationship. They got to know you care about them, and you know the old. You know, I know it's cliche. They don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. You know, that's been – but, Marshall, when, when we get guys and coaches in here that can build relationships with players, they'll pretty much do anything you want them to because they know you have their best interest at heart. They know that you are for them, and they know you're going to tell them what they need to hear and not what they want to hear. Mm. Um, you know, so many times you battle that, and I've got, a, I've got one at home that plays, and – He's got a mother, and she may tell him what he wants to hear, but <laughs> I'm going to tell him what he needs to hear, yeah. and that's that's what your good coaches do. And you know what? Kids respect that. I think kids that uh, play want to play for a, a coach that's, that's structured and disciplined, and, and they know they care about them, and, and they want to play for a coach that's going to get on them and make them do right. You know, good, good programs, good players, they strive for discipline and structure. And I think the coach that builds a relationship – 
can have that discipline and structure with his players. So that that's one. Yeah. That's one major component. You got to build relationships with that yeah. young man. Yeah. And the second thing is you got to be a great communicator. <clears throat> Marshall, if you're not a great communicator, look, it doesn't matter. I, I, let me go back to teaching science and biology. It didn't matter how much biology or science or, or math or anything that I knew, if I couldn't communicate that to the players, if I talked above their heads, or but it, you got to be a great communicator. Mm -hmm. And um, you know that's what teaching is anyway. Teaching is communicating. Yeah. Whatever idea or subject, it can be football, it can be math, whatever it is, if you're a great communicator, and you care about those kids and build a relationship, you can really go a long way with these guys. So mm -hmm. that I, it, it comes down to more that you know, and, and we you get into the discipline and you get into the accountability thing. But let me tell you, you can say whatever you want to say about it. It boils down to two things: you better know how to build relationships with kids, and you better be a great communicator. Mm -hmm. If you do those two things, everything else will fall into place. Yeah. Yeah. That's my two cents on it. So. Well, I, I'll buy that for a All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, that's some, so many other questions I wanted. When you start talking, you just, just bug, light bulbs yeah. just start going off. But we're going to try to stay on script here. And we're going to turn our attention to your defense and your defensive coaches. So uh, let's just go down the line. You approach them in the order you want to okay. talk about, and let's go a little bit. All right. Well, you you know, we did the offense last time we talked. So, so what we got here – it is our defensive side of the ball, and we still believe, Marshall, we still believe defense wins championships. I know in, in the, I guess I'll call it the offensive age of football that we're in now that mm -hmm. everybody thinks you can outscore them, but defense still wins championships, and uh, you got to play great defense to win. And so with, um, for, for us, the guy that handled our defensive back duties, and, and probably we need to add to that, but Coach Cooley was our defensive backs coach, and he called our defense. And uh, – you know, with that, we were running some three-high stuff, and we did a lot of things coverage-wise. So he had a lot of DBs at one time. He had five, pretty much five DB positions he was coaching. He was probably a little bit well, – we got we got a lot from Coach, and Coach, Coach did a lot with those guys. Um, but but our defense is back. You know, we, we're in a region now, Marshall, and, and you know this from being a Wayne County football fan long when I've been living – we play in a spread football region now, mm -hmm. and uh, we we saw a lot of passing and a lot of passing concepts from teams. That's that's what our bunch does usually in this region or district that we're in. So that that was important, and uh, and coach did a good job with a three three with that. Uh, at our linebacker position, uh, coach Fred McCann handled that, and uh, coach does an does an awesome job with our backers, and coach does an awesome job bringing toughness to that group and accountability and. I tell you, Coach, Coach can it's almost like a rite of passage to be in his group in the weight room. I mean, those guys, he's hard on them, but, you know, we're talking about things good coaches do. He builds great relationships with our guys, and he's a great communicator. And, yeah. and uh, Coach handled our backers, and that was our, our middle backers out of our strike look and our outside backers. You know, we, we did different things with them, walked them up, walked down, but Coach handled all our backers. And uh, on our defensive front, up front, and that was the biggest question mark coming in because we didn't know who was going to play with everybody being hurt. Yeah. Coach Blackwell was on our defensive front, defensive side. And, uh, you know, we base out of a 3-3 stack, but we're multiple. And um, I know you and I talked. I remember going in for a Pasigula game. You know, if you remember, Braden Mills was hurt. Billy yeah. Cooley was hurt. Mm. You know, we had to start from sophomores. We had to take Bubba, who, if you remember, Bubba played linebacker. And we had to put Bubba down at defensive end, and Bubba ended up being a really good defensive end yeah. <laughs> with his hand on the ground. Yeah. And uh, that was a whirlwind to start with. Yeah. But those guys probably ended up being one of the strengths of our Strength, football yeah. team as we got going and yeah. we got playing. And, yeah. and I'm excited about what this group has coming back for this year. I, that's what I was just thinking, you know, because uh, you, you're saying a bunch of names that's, that's, that's going to be here. And, man, that's, gonna, that's yes, a big sir. start. Well, you know what? I know Coach Blackwell has, has since retired, you mm -hmm. know, and he had the front and he did a good job with them. But let me tell you, of anybody coming back on our football team, we have more depth with our defensive line than anybody. Who's um, going to be your defensive line coach this, this next we're, season? We're still looking. Still working on that? Yes, sir. We're still looking. We're, um, we're, we're looking, and we're trying to find the best fit for Wayne County and for our kids. Coach, let's, let's just take a break right here. We need to hear from some of our sponsors. Uh, coach Hankins and I are going to take a break, and we'll be right back in just a moment. 
Step into the extreme. Extreme guns, that is. Located at 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. You'll find the extreme with the area's only authorized Benelli dealer and the area's only Browning Master dealer. When we say extreme, we mean it. And so we have the largest local selection of firearms. If optics is your game, Extreme Guns is an authorized dealer for Vortex Optics, along with thermal and night vision scopes in stock. In addition to firearms, optics, and ammunition, Extreme has all of your bow hunting accessories, and we can even repair your cell phone while you look around. Step into and experience the extreme. You'll be glad you did. Extreme Guns, located at 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. Once you start banking online, it all just starts to click. You get e-statements, online bill pay, 24-7 access, your whole financial picture right on your screen. Plus, with our bank, you get the local support you need to make it all work. Get clicking with online banking today. First State Bank, a better way to bank. Member FDIC. Online at firststatebnk.com. When you come out to eat with us at Boondock Eddie's, we care. We care about providing you with a pleasurable dining experience that you deserve and will be happy with. We care about the quality of food we prepare for and serve to you. We care about the service we provide if you're dining in or taking out. We care about providing you with the best food you can find anywhere. At Boondock Eddie's, we put our hearts into what we prepare for you because we care. Come out to Boondock Eddie's and see for yourself. If you're looking for a pleasurable dining experience, we make it happen for you because at Boondock Eddie's, we care about you. So much to do and so little time. Get it all done and do it right with Circle C Tractor. Steel products like trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and accessories. Generate generators that are quieter than a Honda. There's only one place to go and get it all done, and that's Circle C Tractor. Located at 1510 Azalea Drive. Open Monday through Friday, 7 until 5 and 8 until noon on Saturday. Locally owned and operated. Call 601-735-3103. When it comes to insurance, one size does not fit all. At Alpha, our friendly hometown team will steer you in the right direction toward the protection you need at a price you can afford. We offer a variety of discounts for a variety of reasons, from your car's safety features to your history of safe driving. Call Alpha agent Mark Gordon at 735-1186. Drive away with savings today at Alpha Insurance. All righty, welcome back, everyone. Coach Hankins and I are breaking down the uh, – well, Coach Hankins is breaking them down, and I'm listening <laughs> along with you. We're talking about our defensive coaches. So, Coach, we've been through the backs, the backers, and the line. Uh, we did get the line in, didn't we? we yeah, did. that's right. That's we're looking right. for the coach. We're not sure who's going right. to take that responsibility. All right, let's move on to special teams. And, and I just put special teams and kickers on there. there you, I, you can love them all together. But let's talk about special – who coaches your special teams? Well – I'm going to be honest with you, we kind of all do. We all have a role to play. Coach McCann has a big role to play with that with me. Uh, I do. I, I'm, I'm actively involved with that. Again, probably Coach McCann and myself probably handle that more than anybody. Uh, you know, but with our PAT field goal, our offensive line coaches are a big part of that because mm -hmm. they got the front. And um, we all have a hand in it. Uh, again, Coach McCann and I probably probably do, do more of that than anybody. Um, you know, kicking-wise – I guess that that will still fall on on me. Yeah. Uh, I, I know we got a lot more kickers coming out this year. I've been contact. We got three or four to try out. I was going to ask you about that. I mean, you know, kickers, and we've had some good ones. Sure. You know, and I'm not talking about anybody that's here or not here right now. But you know, do you have to actively? You seem like people through history. You got to actively go after those I guys. I think sometimes you do. You know. Boy, before I got here, the year before I got here, Gator was a <laughs> oh, man. man. He was a let me tell you, when you got a kicker like him, yeah, you, that is a blessing. Yeah, the guy puts in the end zone and can kick the field goals, yeah. and uh, man, that those guys are special. I yeah. had one I know in Thompson before I left here, Jake. Before I left there, Jacob Horner, he he was that type of guy that's good enough to kick in college somewhere, you know. And, yeah. Uh, those guys are really, really special guys, and um, we didn't know who was going to kick for us last year. Kyle Car Clark ended up kicking for us, mm -hmm. and Kyle did a pretty good job for he us. Did. You know, for his first year, never been really trained, never yeah. doing anything. I mean, he he did a good job, so he's going to come back. I know we got two or three more now of the halls that that's that's coming back, and some of them I've tried out in the last. You know, that's come out and kicked for us during mm -hmm. during time. So that's going to be an interesting spot. Um, I think guys want to. 
they see I think really guys see there's a need in that role mm -hmm. and we those guys are important. I've always told kickers Marshall, my whole career, kickers don't lose games, but they can sure help you win one. Mm. You know, um, I've always took it to that effect. You know, and we've all seen kickers miss kicks. And, yeah. But, you know, if it comes down to a miss kick or miss points, we should have done something along the way to help us get a little bit past that. But, yeah. but boy, when they make them, they can sure help you win a football yeah. game, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, they can. so that right there is important. And that's not a, a role that we – we look over. We we want to have a great kicker, and, and it's got to have somebody that's got great courage. And cause let me tell you, when you're kicking that ball, and uh, there's a component, there's a snapping component, there's a holding component. But you know, it, it comes off your foot. You know, it's it's on you, and yeah. everybody sees that and, and sees so. Snappers. Now we had a, we had a snapper get injured last year along the way. We did. Justice Beard was snapping for us, and he did a fabulous job. Yeah. And he actually was leading us on kickoff on tackles. He was one of our reserve linebackers, mm -hmm. and he did a good job going down the field. Broke his leg at Florence, yeah. and uh, he was our snapper and did a fabulous job. And then Peyton Hudson took over those duties, and Peyton's back. Yeah. And I know Justice is back, and I know we got a young guy um, that that's probably got a good chance to do it as well, and that's Hunter Scarborough. So we, I think in that position, coming back next year, we should have three guys that can long snap. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And who knows? There may be another guy to show up. And do it. You know, we're going to start the best one period. So, yeah. you know, nobody has a starting role at all. Yeah. You all earn it out there. And but you got to have a great snapper too. You know, yeah. I, I, and you and I've seen it in, in in high school football. We've probably been on teams and seen teams that had the old punt snapped over his head, and those kind of things kill you, man. They, they it's it's hard to overcome. That that's really worse than a turnover because it is a turnover on downs, but. Man, you lose so much yards when yeah. you do it, you know. Yeah. So that's important. I know Justice and I had that talk last year. Don't don't snap it over his head. Don't whatever you do, don't you snap it over his <laughs> head. So we um we we put a lot of time and effort in it, and we do special teams every single day of the week. Yeah. There's some role that we we do. So yeah. that that's important to us, and we're not going to leave that kind of. You can win games with special teams, yes, no sir. doubt. Well, if ever if you come out there and you match up on both sides of the line of scrimmage, it comes down to it who's got the best special team. Right, sure yes, sir. Does. Well, listen, let's let's uh, let's move on to your coordinators. Let's look on the offensive side and talk about your coordinators there and what they're responsible for, and then we'll flip it and go to the defensive side. Well, our offensive coordinator, I may have to fire him. <laughs> 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 He's got to do a better job of scoring points. <laughs> but um, I've, I've handled those roles, and I, and I will. And at some point in time, we'll find, you know, somebody that will do that. But I handled that coming in and kind of getting started, and I, I don't mind that. So I'll take all the responsibility of that, you know, because we – remember when I got here, we just hadn't had the staff established. and, and But I, I handle that, and, we man, we want to attack that opposing team. That's mm. what I'm looking for. when I court, We want to attack – what are they running? What's their base? How can we attack what they do? You know, and that's that's kind of what we want to do. And uh, defensively, I guess if you want to say coordinate. And, and what's great, let me go back and talk about offense. Defense. You know, we got a great staff. We get opinion, opinions from everybody on here. You know, we, you can't have so many ideas in one room. You have chaos. But I, I lean on our staff. And, I, you know, our staff, we have a script. We go out and everybody's got a say in the script. And they give me a couple plays from the script of what they see. And, you know, we'll open up with either 8, 10, 12 play scripts, see how we want to attack them and see what works. And mm -hmm. if you'll notice, it's very multi formational. We want to see if we can put them in a certain formation that gives us an advantage, you know, yeah. and um, we do a lot of that. But uh, defensively, Coach Cooley would have the title of that defensive coordinator spot, but I know he leans on his guys too on Sunday. We all get in there, and I know Coach McCann's got a lot of information. Coach Blackwell's been doing it a long time. He, he was able to contribute a lot of information and and myself and we get in there and we try to you know we try to find out Marshall what we want to do is all right what's their best couple of runs what's their best couple of, let's take what they do best and let's take that away and then hey we get on board and we go we get our plan for the week and then we want to go out and execute it every single day but we got to find out what they do the best and let's try to take that away you you, you can't go in there and stop you can't say, okay, we're going to stop a multitude of fifty things. You know, let's take what they do the best, and let's let's try to let's try to throw a thorn in that anyway. <laughs> it sure improves the odds when you take away what they do. I, the that's right, yeah. well, most most definitely. So we, and you know, with the huddle, it's easier now too. Yeah. I mean, we can get a lot of tendencies, and we we break down a lot of film, and and we try to try to generate a lot of tendencies on yeah. the team, and and that that don't change a whole lot either. Yeah. So we we look at things like that, but there's there's a lot of 
a lot more to it than maybe what it used to be. Yeah. I hate to tell you this, but, you know, the, the buzzer is about to blow. Uh, you did it. You appreciate you taking your time and visiting with us like you do, Coach Hangers. We're excited about Wayne County High School, Oregon football, and I thank you for the time that you give to, to help our public stay stay up to speed on this. Well, morning. you're welcome, man. It's, it's a lot of fun when we get together. And, hey, I can talk ball anytime, anywhere. <laughs> I, I love it. This is what I do. I love it. Uh, here we go. Well, the horn's about to blow, so we got to go. But first, remember to follow us on Facebook at Warrigal Football and on YouTube at Wayne County High School Warrigal Football. And, of course, on WABO 105.5 FM. But for now, Wayne County High School Warrigal Football, we out. Step into the extreme, extreme guns that is, located at 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. You'll find the extreme with the area's only authorized Benelli dealer and the area's only Browning Master dealer. When we say extreme, we mean it, as we have the largest local selection of firearms. If optics is your game, Extreme Guns is an authorized dealer for Vortex Optics, along with thermal and night vision scopes in stock. In addition to firearms, optics, and ammunition, Extreme has all of your bow hunting accessories, and we can even repair your cell phone while you look around. Step into and experience the extreme. You'll be glad you did. Extreme Guns, located 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. Once you start banking online, it all just starts to click. You get e-statements, online bill pay, 24-7 access, your whole financial picture right on your screen. Plus, with our bank, you get the local support you need to make it all work. Get clicking with online banking today. First State Bank, a better way to bank. Member FDIC. Online at firststatebnk.com. When you come out to eat with us at Boondock Eddie's, we care. We care about providing you with a pleasurable dining experience that you deserve and will be happy with. We care about the quality of food we prepare for and serve to you. We care about the service we provide if you're dining in or taking out. We care about providing you with the best food you can find anywhere. At Boondock Eddie's, we put our hearts into what we prepare for you because we care. Come out to Boondock Eddie's and see for yourself. If you're looking for a pleasurable dining experience, we make it happen for you because at Boondock Eddie's, we care about you. So much to do and so little time. Get it all done and do it right with Circle C Tractor. Steel products like trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and accessories. Generate generators that are quieter than a Honda. There's only one place to go and get it all done, and that's Circle C Tractor. Located 1510 Azalea Drive. Open Monday through Friday, 7 until 5 and 8 until noon on Saturday. Locally owned and operated. Call 601-735-3103. When it comes to insurance, one size does not fit all. At Alpha, our friendly hometown team will steer you in the right direction toward the protection you need at a price you can afford. We offer a variety of discounts for a variety of reasons, from your car's safety features to your history of safe driving. Call Alpha agent Mark Gordon at 735-1186. Drive away with savings today at Alpha Insurance. Thanks for listening to Wayne County Football Show, brought to you by Extreme Guns, Alpha Insurance, Boondock Eddies, Circle C Tractor, and First State Bank.